somebody has been in the hotel, there they are. And it was dressed in a yellow and black jacket. Oh, what was that? Hear a squeak? That was the door as well? Huh? Throughout our lives, we've experienced the unexplainable, from apparitions to dark entities, changing our perspectives on the afterlife. Now we seek answers and intend to capture evidence of the paranormal's existence. Rooms 33, 34 and 1 are notorious for paranormal activity. Staff have not only had their names called out while cleaning the rooms in broad daylight, but have seen black figures, found body prints on beds and witnessed electrical manipulation. In room 33 and 34, it is said that the spirits of children reside there, and perhaps these are the black shadows that people often see, darting and playing with guests and staff alike. While room 1 is said to be haunted by a man who passed away after staying as a guest, However, it's likely due to the rich history in human settlement that multiple other unknown entities roam the site. So what we have right here is a little bit of a um, nerve center for tonight. It's gonna kind of be our place where we're gonna be able to observe room 33 and 34. Yeah. Um, and at the moment we've actually set up, it was pretty cool, set up a few cameras or a camera in there for now. Uh, we might work on a second one, but we're gonna have one in there. And we've also got next to it uh, a few alarms in there. So when you go and set them off, uh, but we'll hear it from here and we'll let us know which ones go off and because it was it one is 34 uh, or is the other way around so one is 33 and two is 34 i think so yeah um so when they go off we, we can we can respond instantly if we're like on a bit of a break or something or one of us is observing while the other one is up there So, if anything kind of walks through, you get a little bit of the room. Yeah. And because we've got the camera there, which is, I'm going to show on the camera. Yeah, um, the one right behind, I'm yeah, not going to look at it because it's blinding. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll we'll obviously, we'll ever see if anything's illuminated and you won't get blinded by it so much, I hope. Because that way it picks up more of the room. While setting up gear, we capture this strange sound that sounds like a voice, although it could be potential contamination. What do you think? All right, so we've got the sensors down now, and we're basically gonna just portion them up before we go into the, um, the motel area, because we're gonna do over there, or the hotel section. Um, we're just gonna do some observation for about 40 minutes, and then we'll um, head over there and start investigating on that side, and just leave the camera over there just recording. If anyone's in here, feel free to go and touch that ball, let yourself be known. Let us know that's your place. Right, we're out. Okay, we're currently in room 33. 
and next door is 34. And it's actually a conjoined kind of room. Yeah, you can join the family room. Family room. Um, so technically we're in both, I guess in a way. Um, we're just going to take a step back and use some dousing rods for a bit, see if we get anything, and then go back to using the SP11, uh, doing a few EVPs. And on the bed over there while we're doing it, we've got a K2 and a little cat ball. So if we see that going off, or we ask it to whoever's in here to move it. We'll have um, to knock it off the bed. Yeah, or we can knock it off the bed. Do you reckon you could do that right now? I've got the camera right on that cat ball, on the edge of the bed. Can you do that? Can you knock that little ball off on the bed? Even just tap it if you can. Is there anybody here in the room with us? Can you open up the rods for yes or close them for no? Can you move both rods? What was that? Heard a bang. Could have been the next door neighbour, but it come from the other room. Anyone in here? Went ahead in this room. Yeah. Over here. Yeah, bring it over in the ball as well. Like nothing really there with the rods. Still think it feels oh. funny in this room compared to that. A room. sus. Yeah, we'll just come on. Whoever's in here, make yourself known. Interact with that wall ball on the bed. One right there, right in front of Sam. Can you push it for us? Make it go off. Make some pretty good colours. Do you make a tapping noise? Do you like making noises? Is that the little noise you're talking about? Mm. It sounds like water dripping. Yeah, it does. Don't know about that though. Yeah. Sounds like, like out might be coming from outside. While preparing for a spirit box session, the ball on the bed unexpectedly goes off. Don't just do that. Yep. Can you do that again? We weren't watching. <laughs> I saw it in the corner of my eye. Yeah, I just saw a flash. Yeah. Can, can you touch that again? That was pretty cool. That was cool. Any spikes over there? Picking up anything? No. It does take quite a bit to actually uh, make go off, like it doesn't. It's not easy. <laughs> so at the moment where I'm going to be totally deafened <laughs> and we won't be able to see Sam when he's asking the questions either. And I'm going to have this next to me. Can you see that, Sam? Yeah. And when they have Mel next to me, see if he picks up any fluctuations as this communication's going on. If it does communicate, and document that. All right, so I'll put these on and you can start asking questions and I'll turn this right up. Is there anybody in the room with us? Are there any convicts here? Were you born here? Were you sentenced here? Remember you can use this to communicate. 
talk to us. Did you touch the ball before? Do you want to communicate with us? Do you want us to leave? Can you give us a sign that you are here? Are you happy? I'm getting anything. No. I invite you all, everyone in room 33 and 34, to come into this room and communicate with us. Which room do you live in? Which room is yours? Did hear some banging. Sam can't hear it, I did. But I'm not sure. Did you just bang just then? If you can't do it, push on that ball on the bed. You gotta make it move. You really have to make it move. Do you wanna to talk to us alone? Hear anything? Nothing at all. Yeah. Probably just turn it off for now. Probably what we could do, could star I can try to do it alone. So easy closing from this side. Okay, I'm in here by myself now. Put that ball on the bed. Sam's in the other room, so you go talk to him if you want. Oh, hi. Can you please do that again? Wow, that's cool. Did you want to talk to me alone? Can you touch the ball again? On the end of the bed? If there's any like mumbly voices, it's just Sam in the other room. Can you touch that ball one more time? That was fantastic. That was really good. Funny, you didn't sit off the light though. Do you want to come up to me? You can touch this little red thing in my hand. It should, should come up as a red screen. It will let me know if you touch me. Or we'll try to touch me anyway. What do you think about that? Because that would be pretty cool. Do you think you could do that? What do you think? Sam in his squeaky chair. <laughs> okay, I'm zoomed up this time. So count to three, and you can knock that ball off the bed. One, two, three. Who is in here? Can you knock that ball off the bed? It's on the end of the bed, the one right in front of me, to my right. To my right. Heard a whistle? You hear that? That was weird. What's that? It's a pretty sound like what we heard outside. It was like a... Yeah. Couldn't tell what it was coming. Well, it was like that direction. I wonder Whereas if they... what we heard earlier was... Yeah, I wonder if they get like... Random... Phantom noises. Like, residual? I could do. Have you had that ball go off yet? Nothing. I'll, I went in there straight away and it went, it went off. <laughs> okay, who's in this room? Did you follow me over? Turn that off, we don't need that on, do we? Who's in here? Now that I'm in a different room, do you think you could touch that bowl?
see Sam's in the other room. You can kind of hear him through the door. <laughs> hey, Sam. Want to... Do you think it could be something to do with the heat pump? I don't know. We'll go have a look. Do you want to stay, like, probably go in the other room? Where's that coming from? It's not from the hotel. Close this door, I bet it's gonna happen again. <laughs> After hearing a strange whistle noise, we detect an EMF reading, and while trying to explain it, the camera picks up a faint voice. I've never seen that. What was it? That squealing noise again. Yeah, it'd have to be an aircon pump, I reckon. Anyway, can you move one of those balls for us? You can say something to us. How about you say something directly into the camera? Thing in my hand. What do you have to say? Room 34 of the Port Arthur motoring. Don't have already heard anything? No. And that, yeah, not too sure with that one. Throw the ball to Sam, he's on the bed too. Yeah, that'd be really fun if you would. That ball right in front of me, that one right there. Even the one on the table, you'd barely have to move it to knock it off. It's important to note that later on in the night we did hear someone snoring, so it could be possibly someone next door. What do you think? Oh, do you have the key to room 8? Yeah. I'll go grab the SLS. I'll be back. <laughs> do you prefer me being in here alone to communicate? Can you say your name? Do you prefer it now Stan's gone? So I've just left Sam in there for a bit. So I was going to observe. <laughs> I told him I was going to go get this LS, which I will. It's right, right there. But I want to see if anything happens to him by himself. Come on, if there's anybody here, could you please move one of the balls? You did it earlier tonight. This evidence is very interesting, as Sam is there all by himself and alone. 
However, he doesn't hear this apparent voice at the time, and it doesn't sound like any other form of contamination, such as next door neighbour snoring or banging around. And the fact that it seems to carry tone within the room also says something about the EVP. <coughs> It'd be fun, it makes nice pretty colours. Do you like us being in this room? If you want us to leave, you can knock a ball off, or both balls. Knock them across the room. And I'll tell Stan we can leave for the night. Head back to room 8. Stan's about to come back. Have you got a message for him? You say your walkie went flat. Yeah, it went flat for some reason. Camera batteries is another one that people tend to have problems with as well. Is there any kids in this room? If there is, can you please sit on the bed in between Sam and I? You'll show up on this little device here, hopefully. You can see what you look like, and then you can see what you look like, which are pretty cool. And where are you? Can you please show yourself? Oh, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Right in the middle of the bed too. That's awesome. That's fantastic. I don't think I've got a reading though. You know, the millimeter didn't go off. No. And you didn't show up on, on this camera either, this special camera. Do you reckon you could touch the other ball? See if you can make them both go off at once. That'd be pretty cool. I've got chocolate at the, where I'm sleeping tonight and in my room, I can bring it up for you if you like. If you light that ball up, I'll give the chocolate to you. How does that sound? Sounds pretty good. I'm tempted to do it. <laughs> okay, we're going now. Let's do a quick sweep of the bedroom. So we've just returned from room 33 and 34 and um, we put our phones if we take them I mean, with us like on aeroplane mode, um, stop contamination if we take them with us at all. Uh, and Sam, what did, what's, your, what's your phone kind of done while we're in those rooms? Well it, got, it drained down about 20% of those, it was about nearly 40 by the time we left the restaurant. Yes. We've only been doing well, a couple of EVPs with it. Taking note of the possible battery draining incident, we prepare to investigate room one. Okay, if someone was actually touching that uh, light before, can you please do it again? We've probably seen a few people do it now. Can you touch that light, the one what I'm pointing to, whoever you are, just to let us know you're here and wanting to communicate with us. Can you move the ball next to the kangaroo? But you can't do it. Is anyone on the bed? Got another type of camera now. I can actually detect you. Well, it's supposed to map you in. 
if you like jumping on the bed or something like that. You want to jump on the bed with the, butt, with the kangaroo? So at the moment Sam is doing, uh, using the spirit box and <laughs> I'm asking questions and Sam's just listening for now. We don't want to wake up any guests. I don't think there's any in the next door, but just in case. And it's a pretty cool experiment. So he's just going to say wherever he is. You won't know what I'm saying, all the questions. Um, we've got the SLS camera going, but nothing's appeared. Whoever's in the room, I, I welcome you to come and communicate with us tonight. I don't know who you are, but everyone is welcome. They can be strangers, friends, family, whoever is residing here. And you come forward and talk to us. And you can use that device in Sam's hand. It's that one right there in his hand. You can use that one. Where are you in the room? Are you close? How about that little green light right there? Needs something. Some reading. Something to show us that you are real. Because a lot of people think you're not real. This is all made up. So you do not exist. How about you prove that you do? Say something. Bang something. In track with these awesome toys and some of the equipment right in front of you. Well, not even any radio interference. It was just nothing? Nothing at all. Normally it would be like a channel or two trying to come through, but... Yeah, nothing. It's one of the slow nights. <laughs> so what we've got on the bed right now is just a, a simple, I think it's called Chatmate. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, and it's um, Chatmate. It, it just says stuff, something back to you. So for example, hello. So it says things back to you. Um, at this range, it's unless I kind of shout a bit more and project my voice, it doesn't do it. So I'm hopefully like, the spirit will be able to manipulate it somehow. Um, it's just, just a bit of a test. <laughs> um, just experimenting with uh, investigation um, bits and pieces, investigation gear, potential investigation gear rather. Um, so you got things like Boo Buddy and stuff, and Boo Buddy Junior. They're kind of they're, they're trigger objects as well. Um, so I want to see if the, this interacts in a, in a similar way or spirits want to interact with it in a similar way. If you're, if anyone's here, and I'm not too sure because you've been so quiet tonight, can you please interact with that toy that I've just turned on? Can you make it speak? Can you make it just make a noise? Hearing like a high pitch noise through my ears. You know, you get that high whiny pitch. I'm hearing that. It's like just a high pitchy noise at the moment. I don't know why. Come on, can someone make some of the balls go off? Make that um, kangaroo say something? Like this, it's easy. Just go, woo! Just like that. Are you in the bathroom? Light the balls up if you're in the bathroom. And go around with a millimeter if you want. Do a bit of a sweep, see if you're in the bathroom. Don't know how you've managed to keep people up and make them leave. Like, what did you do to make them leave? Did you give them bad nightmares? Do you make loud noises? What did you do? We're about to leave. 
Get a message for us. Feeling or receiving no more form of communication, we tried one more attempt to communicate with the shy spirits in room 34 and 33. At the current time, we're actually uh, we're in room eight, um, we're sort of wrapping up the first night, and we thought we'd just make a phone call to room thirty-three and thirty-four and try to speak to whatever it is there. We set up a okay that that kangaroo true object. I'll try to zoom up on the camera. <laughs> Can actually see the um, rabbit, rabbit, the kangaroo on the table there. Our landscape actually got the the ball as well with it. Um, before we actually heard, like it sounded like a tapping noise. To, to me, it sounded, oh, could it have been the fridge? Yeah, it could have been. Could the have fridge. been the fridge. Fridge kicking in here, I didn't yeah. think of that. Because that fridge in there was loud as. Yeah. Who's in the room? What are you doing in the room? Can you touch that ball next to the kangaroo, the toy? Can you see me? The alarms have been like self the entire time. And um, the, that light hasn't gone off at all. <laughs> are there any kids in the room? We bought you a kangaroo. Do the bang noise? Who's that? Who's banging? Who's banging in the room? Oh, but we're about to come in there and get our stuff back. Communicating for another 10 to 15 more minutes, we receive and capture no more strange sounds. 